You're on a diet, it's your cheat day, so you make a dessert, but you can't finish it all. And it's staring at you the rest of the week, tempting you. I'm going to show you how to make a single serving chocolate cake to keep you on track. So let's get started. We're going to get started with making our ganache. Put your chocolate chips and cream in a microwave safe measuring cup or bowl. Microwave it for about 30 seconds. If the chocolate isn't melted yet, microwave it for another 30 seconds. Stir the chocolate and cream until it's completely mixed. Put your ganache in the refrigerator for about an hour, no longer, so that it will set up. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Then grease a four inch cake pan with a flour baking spray or you can butter and flour your cake pan. I also like to put a little piece of parchment paper in the pan just to make sure the cake doesn't stick. In a large bowl, whisk your sugar, flour, cocoa, baking soda, baking powder, and salt. In a small measuring cup, whisk one egg. Pour out about half the egg, which is about two tablespoons. In the measuring cup with the egg, add your milk and oil and mix it all together. Pour that into the flour mixture. Whisk it for about two minutes, then add your hot water. We are using hot water to help the cocoa dissolve and it also helps bring out the most chocolate flavor. Whisk it one more time just until it's all mixed and smooth. Pour your batter into your pan and bake it for 20 to 25 minutes. Start checking your cake at 20 minutes by inserting a toothpick. If the toothpick comes out clean with no raw batter, it's done. Take it out and let it cool completely. Once the cake is cooled, you can flip the cake pan over and gently tap the cake out of the pan. Place your cake on a small, flat plate. If the cake is domed, you can trim the top off. To trim it, take a serrated knife and gently cut the dome off. Now we are ready to top our cake. Check your ganache. After you pull it from the refrigerator, give it a good stir and make sure it will move easily and can be spread. It should be similar to the consistency of peanut butter. If it's too stiff, microwave it for five seconds at a time until you can stir it easily. If it's too runny, put it back in the fridge for another 15 minutes. Spoon your ganache on top of the cake and spread it evenly. You can top it with fresh fruit, cookies, ice cream, or whatever you'd like. This cake is super chocolatey and rich and is gonna hit the spot on your cheat day. Now you can take your cake and hide away from your family and eat it. What were you doing? Nothing. Don't look at me. Please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.